Hi everyone, it's Wednesday. It's time for News 2 Gives Back. I'm meteorologist Marcus Bagwell. We are wanting to recognize the Tennessee Department of Transportation and the wonderful work that they have done to assist with the January snowstorm that we had, but also with some of the recent severe weather too that we've seen over the midstate. You know, TDOT does a lot of work, but there may be, may be some things that you may not know about TDOT that we hope that you'll be educated about for today. Um, I have Matt Spurlock here with me. He is the supervisor for Wilson County. Matt, thank you so much for your time. We're just thankful for everything that you all do. Uh, we were given a lot of great information about the work you all did with the winter uh, snowstorm. Over 100,000 man hours, one and a half million gallons of brine, almost one million miles driven, and 900 vehicle assets were used. It's a lot. It's so many different things, but it just shows the amount of work that you all do. Will you tell us about the work that you all put in during the winter storm, what it was like uh, from a personal perspective, and then going out during this event. Yeah, so uh, with the brine, um, mainly we try to put it out before the snow gets there. We try to get it set down on the road. That hope That's supposed to help with the freezing. Um, obviously, it only works to a certain point. Uh, this year, it was, got very cold, um, and it was the amount of snow we're definitely not used to around here. Um, but yeah, the, the more salt we put to it, and let it work for a little while and and then drop plows and try to push it off the road best we can. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, what what was it like with the amount of hours that you all worked? What were your type of shifts that you all had with that? So uh, it, it got very tiring. I think it lasted close to five days, five and a half days. Uh, we, we worked 16 eights um, and that includes bringing trucks in, have to refuel, you have to clean them off if the snow starting to freeze to the lights um, and even changing blades on plows. I mean, we, we went through a lot of plow blades this year. So, wow, that is a lot. Uh, tell us about the difference between what would be considered a city road and a county road. What's one way that you would describe that for somebody like me? I don't necessarily understand that, but how does that work? How does that work for you all? So most all state routes are pretty recognizable. A lot of them are interstates. Um, there are smaller roads that we have, um, and they will be labeled with the, like, you have 266, 267. Um, you have certain roads there. You'll always see the SR before them if you're looking on a map or something like that. They'll show state route. Um, normally, they're bigger roads, um, but there are a few smaller roads that we do have, and, and they, they definitely can give us a little bit of a headache sometimes. Do you all do any of the U.S. routes? Who, who's responsible for that? Is that you all too? Yes, that's us too. Okay, okay, good, good. All right, and let's talk about most recently. We just went through this round of severe weather. We're in a very stormy pattern right now. We've had a lot of rain. There's been a lot of flooding issues. Wilson County had a very weak EF tornado, and we've had some wind damage there in Wilson County where you're the supervisor at. Uh, what have you all seen uh, as you've been out, and what are some of the things you all are actively working on due to the recent severe weather? So one of the main things we had with this last storm was the flooding. Um, a lot of a lot we've had a lot of um, call-ins about their tiles needing replaced. This I mean, needing a bigger tile, um, and I've I've tried to express to the people that you know nothing's going to prepare us for a for eight inches that quick. Um, that was a lot of rain we had at one time. Um, we have had trees down here and there, and, and the public's been very patient with us trying to get those knocked out and get them out of the way. But um, yeah, it's, it's, it's mainly the flooding from this last one that really causes some issues that we're gonna continue to address in the next, in the upcoming weeks. Sure, absolutely. And just for perspective, some areas picked up six, seven, eight inches of rain in a very short period of time. We're talking less than 48 hours, so it was a lot. Uh, finally, Matt, if I could ask you, if people want to report different things to you all that may need to be repaired, and know it may take some time and whatnot, what's a good way for them to uh, contact you all? So we have a hotline. It's 833-T.FIX. Um, and you can, you'll call that number, you'll get an actual person, you'll talk to an actual person that can also direct you to the right area whether it be um, the county that that is that you're in that is on the state route that you're on or if you know if you're on a county road they can redirect you to that county 
All right, sounds good. 833-T.Fix is that particular number. Matt, thank you so much for your time. Yes, We're thankful for all of the work that you all do each and every day, and we are excited uh, to bring them lunch today here in Sumner County. We're uh, in Gallatin uh, here at their District 37 North uh, headquarter area, but they do wonderful work all across the Middle Tennessee area. So if you see a T.Dot uh, person out there, make sure you tell them thanks. They do some great work for us. All right, all of this was brought to them by National Nashville Subaru. I'm News 2 Meteorologist Marcus Bagwell. Thanks for taking time to watch News 2 Gives Back.